Hello world, my name is Aaron Burns and I'm a developer evangelist here at WebEx. Today, my video is about some new features in WebEx REST API. Um, so without further ado, let's start talking about them. So here's where you'll start, just like for any of our API information, anything on our SDKs, our embedded apps framework, you'll find it all at developer.webex.com. All of today's updates are about our people endpoint, or as we like to call it, the people API. So you can find that here at developer.webex.com slash docs slash API slash v1 slash people. There'll be a few more URLs there. I will not read them all, but feel free to pause them and visit the URLs to get more information. So as you can see, um, all of our docs pages have these handy um, examples here that you can try um, right on the docs page. And just like the instructions say, all you'll have to do to use them is log in. So here's what that'll look like once you do log in. You see you've got the bear, your bear token there that will pass to the API. Um, now, a note is that all the updates for today's video uh, will require you to have an admin role. Um, in order to do that, if you don't have an admin role already in production, you'll want to request a developer sandbox. Here's where you can go to do that. And then once you do that, you'll automatically be set up with a administrator role default uh, account as your first account. Um, and you can feel free to make as many more uh, users on that sandbox organization as you like, which leads us perfectly into our first update. Um, so all of the people objects in the people API have now introduced new fields. Um, so one great use case for this is to simplify the onboarding flow at some enterprises. Um, so by adding the city, country, department, manager, phone number, and title fields, um, this lets admins go ahead and provision a user's account right in the onboarding process. Uh, one note for that is you will want to make sure you have the directory connector feature turned off or else that will not work. And make sure to visit the docs to read more on that. Our next update we'll talk about is cross-organization lookup. Now, this is not something we're adding. It's actually something we're taking away. <laughs> so previously, through the WebEx REST API, users could look up other users from any organization who uses WebEx. Um, for privacy reasons, we finally have gone ahead and taken that feature away. Um, but a good note is that if you are still looking to use messaging features of uh, our messaging endpoint, uh, the messaging endpoints behavior has not been changed. So you can still pass that an email address um, in order to send a message. And then lastly, is another great one is preferred pronoun support. This is one we've been waiting on as well. Um, so right now, the way this works is that the WebEx people API um, will return a user's pronouns um, in the exact form that they set them once they've actually set them and an administrator has enabled them. Um, so essentially the way that flow will go is an administrator will enable the this uh, setting here um, as an option to all users. It'll remain blank until the user actually goes into their WebEx app and changes it here. And once they do that, then a GET request to the People API, um, passing in uh, any information that would return back the user will also return back the pronouns along with their other information. Um, so those are just a couple of great updates that we've got. Um, that's all I've got for you today, but make sure you, you follow on, along online. <laughs> I'm going to try that again, um, and I'm going to keep it. Let, make sure you follow along online <laughs> on Twitter and in our WebEx for Developers community. You guys have a great day.